Hello, this tutorial will show you how to go about and solve rapid analysis number one. For rapid analysis number one, we are asked to calculate the rate of performance and the budget overrun for the data that was given to us for um, the satisfaction survey project. So first thing is to calculate the rate of performance and with that let's um, recall that the rate of performance is, cal is calculated by taking the actual work divide that by the planned work. Um, since we have three activities that have been completed, let's focus on that. And uh, those activities are activity A, B, and C. Just by looking at the data given to us, well, first we have to determine uh, which of the three activities, A, B, and C, uh, fall on the critical path. We can see that activity A and B are in the critical path and activity C is not. So what we'll do to determine what the actual work time is, is add the number of weeks that it took for activity A and B to be accomplished. The number of weeks for activities A and B are 4 plus 2 equals 6. Now let's go to the uh, planned work. Again looking at the first three activities A, B, and C. A and B fall in the critical path. Again we add only the number of weeks for A and B. And those numbers are 2 plus 1. Now remember when calculating the rate of performance focus only on the activities that fall in the critical path. That will help you determine what the rate of performance will be for the data of uh, the project that was given to you. Okay, let's continue with the rate of performance. Let's take the actual work, which falls under E10. Divide that by the planned work which is in cell D10. And we have a 200% rate of performance. Now before doing the budget overrun for this assignment, let me tell you about two other things. And those are the plan duration and the estimated project end. There's a reason why I'm telling you this. It's because of the data that was given to us for this project. Now, let me tell you about estimated project end. That can be solved by taking the project duration and multiplying the rate of performance. And with that you will get the um, estimated project end or the estimated time when the project is going to finish. To get the planned duration, you have to get the total number of weeks for all of the activities for that project minus the total number of weeks of the activities for that project that do not fall in the critical path. Now let me show you how that's done. We'll take the sum of all of these activities or all of the number of weeks for these activities and we'll subtract activity C which does not fall in the critical path and also the number of weeks for activity G which does not fall on the critical path as well. And with that we have a planned duration of 12 weeks for this project. Now to get the estimated project end we'll take the planned duration which is 12 weeks and multiply that with the rate of performance, which is 200%. Estimated project end is 24 weeks, which is actually two times longer than we thought based on, based on the duration on how long it took for the first three activities to be accomplished. Now let's go back to the budget overrun. In order for us to solve for the budget overrun, run, we would need to have the actual cost for all of the activities in the project and since we are not given the actual cost for all of the activities we can 
only forecast what the budget overrun would be, or at least the best guess of whether this project is going to be over budget or under budget. And based on the estimated project end, which is twice the number of uh, weeks based on the planned duration, then we can forecast that this project will be over budget. The take home lesson for this tutorial is how to solve for the rate of performance and how to forecast the budget overrun based on the estimated project end.